Hello guys and welcome to another gameplay video I'm sorry if I sound tired, it's because I am tired I couldn't really sleep and I thought why not edit a gameplay video instead of laying down watching Netflix So in today's video I got some awesome fights and some insane rescue operations for you guys And I don't care what everyone says, Blackout map is the real deal right now If you play in the right time which is the prime time in your server Then you're guaranteed to have some of the hardest fights in this game And compared to isolated it's really a struggle to win solo versus squads here because because in isolated there are a lot of buildings and a lot of cover and high ground so it's easy to wipe squads or switch positions but in blackout if you get caught by a squad then in most cases there is no escape for you and the other thing about buildings in blackout you don't need ninja to climb on the roof most of the buildings here have a way to climb so enemies can get to you anywhere you go and since blackout is smaller than isolated the game here ends faster and it's a bit hard to get many kills because teams end up eating each other and you have to be fast otherwise you'll be left out with less than 10 kills I mean I had a good amount of kills but I decided to post two games in one video and I don't mean to sound cocky but these games are basically me collecting my teammates dog tags while getting revenge for them I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay let's get started Let's start with game 1 and as bad as it may sound I decided to unfollow my team here and land on construction site I mean come on this place is basically the platform of blackout and on top of that it's a highlighted area with a helicopter and it's right next to the plane pad I mean how can you resist not landing here? I knew there are still enemies here but I decided to ignore them and head towards my teammates before the safe zone starts shrinking. So the rescue mission was successful and on top of that I managed to come out with 4 kills. Here my teammates ended up dying again and it's something you're gonna have to deal with. And I don't mean to be rude but most of the random players are bad. But a good thing about playing with random players they help you locate enemies when they die. So that's another reason why I play with randoms. But before I rescue them I went to get my MX9. At this point in the game it's important to have at least one loadout gun with you. And since I have good mods on my AK-47 I decided to pick the MX9. So we got the tags and we scanned them without any trouble. Then we went out for some kills and I engaged as soon as I got the chance. I was so thirsty and I'm glad I did because the place I landed at ended up being a war zone. Drop is coming. Dog tag.
In here, I decided to chill for a bit and observe the area because we were surrounded by many enemies from all sides with only two of us left. And since I was exposed on the top, the smartest move here was to retreat a little bit then start another attack from the back. Be careful, the poltergeist is active. Engaging the enemies. Again, we managed to win the fight without losing anyone, and just when I thought that the chaos was over, another team decided to engage. The revived flight will arrive in one At this point, all the real players died and we were left out with bots, so we ended up winning that game. We have a winner. Moving on to game number 2, this time we landed together in Turbine, which is probably the second hardest drop after construction site. So we had some good early action. Enemy down. In here I thought the time was enough to reload the egg. I don't really use this gun much unless I have to. So I'm not really familiar with the reload time but luckily my teammate was there and he finished the job. After that we went for the first airdrop in Rivertown. And I consider this place to be the best place for ninja users. There are so many buildings to hook to and a lot of ways where you can switch position and split the enemy team apart. So if you ever find yourself forced to take a fight as a ninja user then this is a perfect place to do it. Enemy down. Enemy. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. The next objective was to get a loadout gun and for me to upgrade my ninja. Sadly it was too late to get the airdrop so for now I headed towards the upgrade terminal. Engaging the enemy. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. One thing I learned from this map is to never challenge a good sniper. This player melted 185 HP from me with one shot and another shot would have killed me so I knew he's good and I waited for a better chance to kill him. Enemy down, enemy eliminated.
While I was busy fighting these guys, my entire team got killed. So I had to drive towards them ASAP as the zone was closing in. And on the way, I got an MX-9 from the enemy and an AK-47 from the airdrop. So I was 100% ready for it. The plan was to get their tags, then instantly drive inside the circle. But things didn't go according to plan. I honestly have no idea how I survived that, but I did. And there was a poltergeist enemy near me, but I guess he was worried about the zone, so he decided to avoid me. But I believe he still ended up dying. I'm guessing that's him right here. Anyway, I got into the zone and scanned all the tags before the final revive flight. So we had the entire squad ready for the final fight. See what I mean? There are so many good snipers here. This guy barely had time to react and still managed to melt another 185 HP just like the last guy. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.